What's up guys, Late Night Cast Mac here, and before I talk about the Panthers move today, I'm going to be honest, trying to figure out the Carolina Panthers game plan as a team right now is like me trying to figure out finance and calculus, and there's a reason I took those four, four, four times, it took me a minute, and I hope I eat my words on all of these interesting um moves that we've uh we've made over the last couple of seasons and i'm not saying it's not a great deal for ian thomas as we inked him to a three-year 16 and a half million dollar um contract eight fully guaranteed i'm not saying it's not a great deal for him and this he's a very very solid reliable blocker is he elite no uh, he doesn't rip up the stat sheet in terms of receiving either, but um, with uh, Ben, McAdoo, ben McAdoo, our new offensive coordinator, he is very tight and friendly, and Tommy Trimble had some great, great flashes, and Ian Thomas had some stellar, stellar blocks to help spring some plays, and I can't discount that. And frankly, our offensive line over the last three, four years, the last year and the year before especially, couldn't protect a wet paper bag. So having some continuity with Ian Thomas as a blocker and um, Brady Christensen who had some nice moments on the left side at left tackle and obviously Trey Turner, the all-pro that he is, there's some continuity there. Yes, we need to shore that up with as Steve Smith said, black tie type of guys to really, really have a chance. Um, and honestly, I think our quarterback carousel has missed Ian Thomas on some wide open plays as well. Um, he has 90 catches, 802 yards, and four touchdowns in his total in his career so far. So yes, is there a little bit more development and to be desired at tight end? Yes, but... I'm going to be pos as positive as I possibly can with with these moves because A, like I said, this is a great contract for Ian Thomas. B, great blockers are hard to find, clearly with our um, offensive line struggles. And uh, Tommy Trimmel, his offensive flashes and explosion may help open some things up for Ian Thomas to be more of a vocal point in the offense and tight ends are taking over the league so if you don't have at least one reliable tight end you're kind of falling behind so I I appreciate that that uh, if that's the thought process of this um, and I'm going to cheer as hard uh, for the Carolina Panthers as I always do and I hope I eat my words uh, with some of these moves that we made. I'm really happy for Ian, and he, he has made great strides in the blocking game, and hopefully um, Ben McAdoo's offense can um, open up some things for both Tommy Trimble and Ian Thomas for us to be more explosive and allow the weapons of DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson Christian McCaffrey, if he's around, to um, start breaking some games open and scoring more than 20 points. That would be phenomenal. So I'm not going to rip rip this move a new one. I'm just going to see what happens because, honestly, trying to figure out the Panthers is uh, really hard to do right now, but... Uh, it is what it is. I'm always going to be a Panther fan, so that's all that matters. As always, keep pounding. Go Panthers.